Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the International Fab Talks. We're happy to connect and bond with you every single day with all our celebrities and unsung heroes across the world, be it India or across India. There are several other countries where people really love to bond on the International Fab Talks. Today, we are being joined by a wonderful person who has a lot of experience on the professional front and as well as postal front. He's joining us all the way from Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Join us, friends, to welcome JC. HGF V Ramaswamy, a retired medical representative who's been doing his very best on the professional front and as well as on the personal front as well, overcome so many challenges. Join us to welcome, sir. Hello, sir, and namaste. Welcome. Namaste. Welcome. Thank you very much for the nice opportunity. I'm privileged. Thank you, sir, for being so humble. Even after achieving so many things in life, you still are so humble. This is what we would love to see in the youth of India and in the youth of the entire world, to be humble, to be polite and have no ego. There may be a lot of ups and downs you face. You should never have ego. If That's you have right. ego, you will never rise to a certain position that you desire. Sir, with your permission, I go ahead and share your profile and we begin the session. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My dear friends, it's a honor and privilege, as you all know, it's our responsibility as well to share the profile of our celebrities and guests. Today, we have our celebrity, as I earlier mentioned, he's Mr. J.C. H.G.F. Now, what is H.G.F.? That's a secret. J.C., I know you all know that. H.G.F., we'll get to know. V. Ramaswamy, sir, is here with us. He's completed his B.Sc. in mathematics and he retired as a medical representative uh, from J.B. Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals, Velour. After 38 years of service, almost four decades. Now, we have seen youngsters just with four years of experience or maybe four months of experience having that temper and ego within them. But here is a person in front of us who has almost four decades in the field or chosen field, that is as a medical representative, very humble and polite. Sir joined the JCs in 1999 and graduated as a zone trainer in 2002, graduated as a prime trainer in 2004. He was the first prime graduate from JCI Velour. Sir graduated as a national trainer in 2006. He was the first national trainer from JCI Velour. Sir graduated as, as a CNT 2008, the first CNT from JCI Velour. He graduated as the head trainer in 2008 as the first Head trainer from JCI Velour, sir is very interested in, guess what? Music, movies and sports. That's beautiful. We'll get to know about the movies that sir like, what type of sports, etc. And what kind of music? Is it like classical or etc. Let's find out. Sir has taken classes for several organizations. It would be the LIC, CMC, TNEB, Tamil Nadu Police, etc. Sir was focused and is still focused with people connected in Velur and Tiruvannamalai districts with regard to schools, colleges, Rotary Club, Lions Club, etc. Sir is a great coach at the Nickel Foundation as he's working as a Nickel Foundation coach that is also very nice to empower soft skills to various school students and college students as well. Sir worked as a pilot and co-pilot faculty connected with speech craft lap and cap of jci india the topics that fo sir focused on was motivation goal setting time management eq that is emotional intelligence stress management positive attitude etc uh, you could also add their mind mapping ignite your mind sharpen your acts body language and exam skills human relationship human relations etc humanity and all of that now, these are the things that we really need in order to go further in our lives. Now, how did Sir manage to get all of this done in his professional zone? Let's get to know what are the personal challenges he's overcome to be here as a great professional. Hello, Sir, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. That's really nice, Sir. You have an impressive profile. Now, I just shared a brief profile about yourself, but people across this platform would love to know it directly from you as to who is really Mr. Ramaswamy. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm Ramaswamy. I was uh, the eighth uh, son of my family. And uh, usually people say eighth, uh, they, they are likely to be brilliant. It is not so. I'm an average student only. During my school days also, I had a lot of difficulties. I'm a backbencher. 
but uh, i was focusing on some other aspect because my father used to say i i don't think you can count on marks but you can count on some other skills he was suggesting so i joined a scouts in during my school days so that really helped me uh, to mingle with people and how to uh, get along with the people this uh, activities in the scout really helped me and uh, after finishing my schooling from nanda ramakrishnam shinai secondary school tnagar chennai i joined nandra mart college as a student we, we the, those days we studied uh, 11th 12th uh, 12th is known as puc and degree and by i i did my degree as bsc mathematics in uh, nandra mart college and till puc i was in tamil medium but still uh, what time speaking as a little english is uh, i attribute this to my father who really helped me to uh, explore the usage of english he used to, he used to insist me to go through the hindu paper daily and he will ask me he will give me a sentence i have to refer the dictionary to get the tamil meaning and i have to form a statement if i get the statement is correct i'll get a chocolate otherwise i'll get a beat so for the past 3 to 4 years during my school days early final school days i was able to collect more than 1000 words the first word that i learned is inadequate so now i also feel i am still inadequate i have a lot to learn the only thing is that uh, as my father used to say about myself you are not studious but you are sincere i think uh, that is the key the secret of success of my uh, so far uh, the journey that i have crossed now brilliant sir that's really very nice for sharing all of that especially with regard to your father being the eighth born child and as you said you are not studious but you are hard working you are very sincere and that takes you very far even i am an average student i could relate with you and as you mentioned the back bencher as well yes that's also something very interesting uh, and you joined the scouts and guides you mentioned all of that that's really nice and you're connected with the hindu paper the first word was inadequate and you was you so humble enough to say that till date i'm inadequate that i still need to learn more so i see you as a great learner yes like learning starts from the cradle and ends till the grave so it's that's right with all of us you have that mindset the growth mindset it's not that's that right. i accomplish something and i'm stuck with that that's wonderful sir now as you mentioned back bencher what were the activities that you did in the back bench before we go proceed further ahead i used to uh, sing some songs i used to whistle some songs and sometimes i used to take the usually the people will be having snacks no i will open the box and i will take somebody's <laughs> so i was i, I was i was notorious uh, for all these activities and uh, actually my school my class master who was from 7th to 11th saw me growing from bad to good he used to say don't be like this you should not take others food and you should not you can't be remain in the bench at one point of time you have to come up he used to say so his motivation really helped me to climb up so the, the, my t- i i owe a lot to my teachers especially my headmaster mr mandramurthy who made a lot of impact on my uh, thinking it is not his job to come on sundays we usually we have that uh, scout class sometimes he came down and he saw the way in which we were doing the activities suddenly he asked us to sing the national anthem so when we sung he noted some mistakes and he wanted that to be corrected that uh, goes deep into my mind now and uh, i am very close to my headmaster so i used to say sir why don't you put a india map in our school so that uh, it will be very visible for us whenever we are having a prayer also we can have that even now the india uh, they have actually made a sculpture india sculpture in my school it is still there so uh, this uh, with such a lovely affection and uh, care my teachers took on me i think uh, what i am today is because of their blessings and uh, cooperation on molding me that's really nice to give all the achievements that you gathered till date and you could you giving it as a tribute to the people who were in your life especially your teachers your father that's really nice so you contribute your success to the guidance that you received earlier wonderful sir 
Uh, and as you mentioned, opening up the tiffin boxes, visiting in the class, some tunes. That's really very interesting. It's very cute. And I could visualize that when you said that, I could visualize all of that in my mind. That's really nice. Sir. Now, sir, you say you were an average student, but yet you took up BSc Mathematics. That's not easy. It's very, very tough. I stopped studying maths after 10th class. I took arts for my uh, 11th and 12th standard. And further, it's the humanities side I went. But you have taken up mathematics. So how did this journey begin? And how you focused on mathematics? Because it's not... <coughs> Actually, when you uh, go through my SSLC mark sheet, I scored 35 in science. That's a pass mark. The only good mark that I've scored is in English, 83, and max is in 73. So my father suggested me not to go to science because you are not good enough in science. He said, you are good at max, you can try. With the max, that what I have learned in 10th, uh, 11th, that uh, made me to join a BSc Max. Then I realized that what I have learned as a Max is not a real Max. What I'm learning is uh, in the degree is a real Max. So I was finding it very difficult with great difficulty, having a lot of, uh, we, have, we used to have some arrears and that, uh, that will be cleared in the next semester like that only I have passed out. Uh, only thing is that uh, even in college also, the subjects were very interesting, statistics, numerical max, astronomy. So these were all uh, very eye-opener for us. And even in a government college, I could see uh, teachers interacting with the students in the best way that is possible. Nowadays, uh, we feel it is lacking. The teachers who came to take class, they not only take class, but also point out some individuals, uh, plus points, and they used to highlight, why don't you become an IAS officer? Why don't you become an IPS officer like this? In fact, my college chairman, second college chairman was an IPS officer. So we used to get a lot of uh, extra mileage from our uh, teachers, even in the college level. That's a plus point. Yes, so that's really nice. And as you mentioned, science, 35 marks, I could resonate with you. Because I scored 37 in science when I was in 10th class. Thank God I somehow passed and I moved on. It was just the scraping marks. Yes. And as you mentioned, English, you got around about 83 or something. And I also scored the highest marks in English when I was in 10th. And mathematics, you scored 73 or something, you said. Am I right? Yeah, 73. Yes. yes. And I scored around about 57 marks. So I very well resonate with what you've shared. That's really very nice. And you've taken up mathematics. So, from mathematics, then slowly, how did you enter into the field of being a medical rep? How did this happen? After finishing the graduation, as, as I said, I was in the scout, no? After finishing the school scouting, there is no chance for us to meet. So, what we have decided, we formed a rover in the, it is a, now it is very much there. Uh, students who are studying in the schools, they can be a part of scout. Students who are in the college, they can be a part of rover. So we have formed an open rover group. And to run the over the, the group, we have thought of uh, coming out with the business enterprises. So we started one name. Vivekananda Rover Crew is the crew where I became a member. And Viveka Enterprises, we have started a small uh, agencies where we have to go to the offices to procure in those days uh, to get the stationery and all those things. I was doing it. On seeing this, my father was a little unhappy and he was telling his brother, I don't want him to become a, a person who is selling pen. Uh, ask him to do something else. And I also wrote bank exams, but uh, nothing clicked. And my cousin who was with us was a representative in a pharmaceutical company where I have retired now. He, to show his gratitude to my fa father, don't worry, I will uh, take care of him. So uh, even after scoring uh, the 35 marks in science, I became a medical representative. The only thing is that I have made my mind. It is going to be my profession. Let me be uh, allowed to be uh, trained in such a way so that I will stick on to this profession. Because I, the, in those days, changing a job, people will not uh, encourage. So I stick on to JB Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals. And I, with that company, I just started growing. So that is how, though initial days, I had a lot of difficulties. Uh, even to spell the science, science names also, I, I was finding it very difficult. 
at that time my uh, cousin used to say this is your job to love it and or you love it or leave it he said then i said i will love it and i will i will not leave he left the company and uh, we left but i stayed there and uh, i have actually i am supposed to have retired in the year 2018 based on my experience based on the service company gave two years uh, excretion i mean uh, super annuity so i have completed 60 years so that is how uh, i was finding it though science was a very tough subject for me business has no language that is what i feel so you can very well interact and you can uh, if you know the concept that you can very well put things in your uh, own words here the jcs came uh, the jcs when i became a trainer from 1999 to 2006 uh, all the training ladders really helped me to have an introspection about myself and uh, that is how i am able to make uh, communicate with others if you don't understand anything you can't uh, tell the others to do but you have, for which you should understand what you are what you are getting things from others so this really made me and uh, the knowledge that i gained through jcs really helped me to shape myself as a trainer that's uh, i was really enjoying my role as a jcs trainer as well as my medical representative job so this whatever the uh, extra uh, experience i get through the medical i mean uh, trainer i just put forth all those things in the my professional life that is how i am still connected with some doctors who run their schools i go there i take classes for them and they say we have not seen you as a trainer we are happy to see you as a trainer so this opening it all uh, i got it because of the jcs activities ma'am that's really nice sir thank you for sharing all of that that was wonderful you shared that and as you said business has no language i like that sentence and this is for all of the people out there and humanity also you don't need to have a particular language to connect with people you can just connect with them through emotions by understanding the feelings of others and respecting them and business and as you mentioned like you don't need a language you just need talent and skill to connect with people everything will be in place so now you joined the jcs you become a trainer you balanced both your medical rep job and as well as your trainer job like i mean like as a trainer as a mentor and guide now if i were to ask you which one did you enjoy the most being a medical rep or a trainer uh, i know medical representative job will go after some time but as a trainer i will not lose my uh, respect uh, wherever i go i will be respected as a trainer uh, that is uh, the role which i really like very much because we have trained so many people when we travel to sabarimala some person who came and he said sir wang sir i will help you for darshan and i was looking at him then he said sir i, I attended your training program some time back uh, as uh, during my school days sir i remember your uh, face that is how i just connected you sir he said and that's the real uh, the credit that goes i used to take classes for velour institute of technology for the under privileged students i was taking the class for a long time say about every year i used to take and there is a gap on one particular occasion when i was traveling from trichy to velour a girl who was uh, traveling with me started asking questions sir i understand i have, your face is familiar she was uh, saying and i said from where are you she said she is from vat then i said i used to came to your vat for yeah i remember sir you have the balloon games and all why you don't come after that she was asking that made me to again to introspect and again to renew my connections so once when i entered again i called the girl and she said because of this girl only i am back here so kindly uh, i am privileged to meet you again i said so uh, after that now every year i am conducting this program because in vat it is a place where a lot of foreign students are there on the other hand on the other hand there are uh, school toppers from the government uh, schools of across the tamil nadu with uh, without even exposure to english was there there is a imbalance of communication so the chancellor wanted us to in, uh, work on this so that they will be mingling with those people and th- that really uh, uh, helped so i feel as a trainer i think uh, wherever i go i get a lot of respect and a lot of uh, kick 
That's really nice. That's really wonderful. Very true, sir. So I've asked this question to many people and this is the answer that they have given. They feel extremely happy uh, to be connected with their students or with their fans. You see, like if you're a mentor to them, they just come back to you no matter you're in the railway station or maybe in the airport or the marketplace, they'll identify you and they'll give back that love and respect. You don't get in, in, in mostly in other professions. As you get in this, as a trainer, as a teacher and all of that. So, which was the most challenging moment in your life? That It was very tough, but you overcame that challenge. <clears throat> we launched a product by name Silaka. This is a new uh, molecule which is came from uh, Asian countries. It is from Japan. It's a concept selling because the doctors were already using the other molecule. So it is a tough time to convert the doctors to my product. We had a very tough time. So there is a, it calls for a continuous efforts. So I was meeting the cardiology department regularly. And I used to write a reminder to the doctors not as a, a, a person, but as the product, that the product is available. I, the, the, the letter goes like this, Dear Doctor, I am Silakar. I await your prescriptions. Yeah, I am available. I am a newborn baby. Kindly nurture me. Something like that. So this creative thinking really helped a few doctors to open up and they started supporting me. Uh, this molecule, I just made an entry in the 2016 or 2014 by just 50 strips. When I returned, I mean, I retired, uh, the business that came from this particular molecule was amazing. The company was uh, allowed me to have the two years extension only on these two grounds. When I introduced the product, and it, it's a perennial business, it's a, a continuous business. So the, the CMC was very happy. Even doctors were also happy. They were used to ask me. Even after we selling, uh, still you are uh, only talking about Silakar, why? I said, Silakar gave me a life. In Silakar, car is there, no? Without Silakar, I don't have a car. Through Silakar only, I got my car. So the way in which I was started connecting the products to them, it was amazing. And the confidence that uh, I have get, when I even I uh, left the co company after my retirement, my another successor who came first year, he earned his uh, bike. Second year, he bought a house. So the, I'm, I'm really feeling happy because even if I move from the place, I, the base that I have created is now helping another person to have his own life. Left. That is what, that, uh, that satisfaction is uh, something amazing. That's wonderful, sir. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Now, sir, uh, as I, I want you to share that letter with me that you have written maybe after the session you could just whatsapp that i have not actually the the letter it has gone actually uh and the letter on the it was specifically written to them i don't have a copy with the letter, a copy of that i would like you to read i would like you to please read think and rewrite it and i would like right, you to right. share when you have your time yeah yeah in what fact I see uh, here hmm. is the uniqueness and creativity in fact this is the way in which i have done for another product we have one product by name Rantac. Yeah. For the first time, Rantac. It is uh, uh, Zintac. It is meant for ulcer. When we introduced the syrup for the first time to capture the market in CMC hospital, I wrote a letter like this. Dear doctor, I am a, a newborn baby, Rantac syrup. Uh, I am available opposite to the hospital. Kindly give me a nurturing care so that I can enter in the hospital. Well, after, within six to seven months, the product came into the hospital. I give these examples only to those who are listening. Be different and make the difference. Wonderful, wonderful. And I like your creativity. You see, for the first time, I'm listening to this kind of content, like, you know, wanting your sales to go ahead further, wanting your product to reach out to the right kind of people. So the innovation and creativity, I'd love you to share your thoughts with me after the session. If you're free, sure. do share that. It's It will be helpful to all of us. Yes, sir. Now, sir, have you ever found yourself as a youngster between the age of 20 to 30? Did you ever find yourself slipping and dropping down 
uh, with regard to the professional stress or maybe personal stress as well. Did you ever face something called as depression, something called as anxiety? Yeah, it is there very much. Uh, even after putting so many years of service, uh, whenever the month uh, comes starts in the 15th, when I have a lot of pressure, no, uh, my mother used to be with me for that uh, time. And I will say, I, I don't know, I don't know whether I'll be able to achieve my target. I'm, I'm finding it very difficult. And uh, she said, you are like Anumar. You don't know your strength. You will do it. Don't worry. You are going to have, have a good uh, finishing. And uh, that um, uh, words really will motivate me to complete my target. So when even if I actually fail, failure or the sense of letting down is uh, continuous, it, it is going to have everybody, every, everybody will be having this problem at one point of time. Only thing is that they should not lay down, they should climb up. Uh, it, it is not, uh, you cannot find a person who is laying down. Right? Once he had a fall, he should stand up first. Then he should start walking. These things actually made me to think, okay, let us try, let us keep walking. So likewise only, I have uh, crossed so many hurdles. We had in those days, Metro Gel IV uh, infusion. We, when I entered the Velour market, we were doing around 10,000 rupees at that At that time, 10,000 rupees is equal to one crore now. Suddenly, my company changed the bottle, glass bottle into disposable pack. CMC hospital at that time, they are not for uh, glass, but they are not for disposable pack. So we lost the business. Then there was a big question, what to do? Subsequently, my manager said, don't think that one, this product alone will help you. Try to look out for the other products. So when I started looking for the other opportunities, I ventured it out. And uh, after some time, again, Metro July V with the disposable pack, again, entered into the CMC hospital. By that time, I have developed the base for the other products, which saw me not uh, falling down. That's a plus point I have learned from my manager. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing that experience. Yes. Now, sir, there's another very important question. There are youngsters between the age of 20 to 30. Because I have recently come across certain students, certain professionals of that age group, where they are not performing well. Being a counseling psychologist, I've had them share this with me. So they are into a breakup. They are facing a breakup in their life on the romantic side, on the personal side, and they are not performing well in their job space. They are not performing well in the chosen field of their academics. So how do we bring them out from that zone? Now, life is not all about love. If I could speak this and the people who are going to hear this, all the people, boys and the girls who have connected with me on this topic, the, here is a senior person with me who has seen all of it. So I'm taking his uh, suggestion. So it's for you, friends. So how did yeah. they come out of that breakup mindset? And like, yeah, I need to face life. This is not the end of the world if somebody rejects me. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, I, I, I have my own personal experience. My immediate elder brother, who was a gold medalist from IIM, Indian Institute of Management. He did his BSc agree. In fact, we thought of him to become a doctor, uh, but uh, due to some uh, quota issues, he could not do MBBS. He joined a BSc agree. After doing BSc agree, immediately he got a placement. He was in a government job. Then he wanted to pursue BA, MBA. He went for MBA. And after finishing his MBA, he was placed in Godrej Soaps as a business executive. Unfortunately, he developed a drugging habit. So his marriage was failure. Over a period of time, he lost his job, but he was doing something else. At one point of time, even uh, our family members are not having, uh, uh, we, have, we don't have any uh, control over that, uh, my brother. So we have decided to part him with uh, some money to somebody, some caretaker. One fine morning, he was he was taking uh, uh, precaution, I mean, uh, anti-alcoholic drugs. Also, he was taking alcohol. So he died, and his body was seen after two days. It was bloated, and uh, I did the rituals. 
at that part at that part of time i felt i should not see such a death in all the youngsters who are going to uh, whom i am going to meet and that is how i landed with the nikhil foundation that is how i landed with the jcs for training the young minds there is one particular word i would like to highlight for those who are listening this program when nelson mandela was arrested he was in the jail and the people uh, at one point uh, they have struggled him to come uh, have a release he came out of the prison on seeing the lot of crowd he was little bit perplexed uh, when uh, people were asking well, what happened why you are so he said so what and what next this is the four led words he spelled sir you are in jail for so many years so what what next what i am going to do likewise if the younger generation if they can take the failures there won't be any suicides there won't be any shortfalls people should know how to take failures because when success came to them they keep on dancing when the failure came they'll go down to the air let them take the responsibility of even the failure that will give some confidence so i used to say don't put the blame on others you take the blame and uh, when you own a mistake you know how to get it correct so these small four words will give a lot of changes to the persons who say they are not good for anything it is not like that you have failed that at that, that time that's all there is no word failure it is success and experience if uh, success is there very good if experience is there you do it in the right perspective so that you will get a success on the next time if they if this can be followed by the students they can very well come up so what what next these four words i am giving as a mantra thank you so much sir for that beautiful mantra that is so what and what next like this you can overcome all the challenges in your life it could be a heartbreak it could be a job that you did not bag or maybe it could be any personal experience or professional experience so what what next that will really keep it, you going and it's a big takeaway for me also that's mm. really nice thank you so much wonderful sir now dear sir it's really nice talking to you and getting to know that you are into all of this i thought only you would be somebody connected with the medical field uh, you know with the being a medical rep and all but you have a vast knowledge and lots of wisdom with regard to all aspects of life so now you said you have a lot of interest in movies as well what kind of movies what genre do you love to watch i love humor i love humor and in fact uh... i used to watch a lot of uh, movies tamil movies and uh, some english movies like uh, uh, adventure movies poseer on adventure or the great escape or uh, the five men army these are all the movies which you, i used to like those days but i like uh, f- some family subject movies also there no uh, that also give a lot of confidence the, when you say about movie the movie which you saw at the age of 6 you may not follow many things again when you see the same movie at the various ages you know the way in which the message is conveyed is something awesome we probably would have uh, missed those feelings at that age of 6 likewise i really feel uh, movies is one thing which give which gives you a lot of uh, confidence i used to do now actually i am doing a lot of zoom trainings uh during the covid thanks to covid covid actually made me uh, to learn so many things namely uh, talking through zoom and pre- preparing uh, content for the new topics i used to read a book and i will pres- put the content i will put the bullet points in a ppt and i will start doing it as a program likewise i have covered almost 70 to 80 topics Uh, very interestingly named with a tamil movie so that it will get some att- attention for example uh, recently i did one book uh, the book says our iceberg is melting i gave a name as c square change to challenge is the topic through which i really made the book uh, content in a interesting way so that others can also follow it up. wonderful sir that's really wonderful that's really nice thank you very much now so we'll 
now your favorite movie my favorite movie is uh, tilana mohanapal <coughs> and trivedi adal i am a great fan of uh, nagesh uh, he uh, the the comedian who used to uh, do lot of uh, positive points so i really love his comedies yes that's really nice sir that's very interesting so now i'd like to focus on one important aspect of human beings even animals also the, something called as emotions it's not only visible only with human uh, with people uh, i mean with human beings it's also with the animals also they have wonderful emotions which, which they show towards their species now we leave animals aside and only focus on the human emotions now there are seven people who are sensitive that's good but some are over sensitive and that's not okay we have seen the youngsters especially being over sensitive and reacting instead of responding with regard to emotions how would you explain this and how would you guide the youngsters out there from all the experiences that you've had during the the particular age you will have a feeling like this Uh, but don't give much importance to it because any extra feeling that is going to disturb your uh, uh, growth you should not encourage it should be a part of it because uh, men may come men may go but you are going to remain whatever the activity that you are doing uh, that will ref- uh, that will have a uh, reflection on your character and your uh, ability so the way in which you are molded by your parents you have some you have some uh, you have inherited some good qualities you apply that and you still you can be a normal person so it is a part of a journey that's all in the bus journey when somebody will get stepped down at one particular uh, stop new persons will come so likewise enjoy the journey and uh, we used to say a uh, soup for the mind is a one topic where i have used while i was taking we we never knew what will be our uh, earlier birth and what will be our next birth so we are here let us enjoy the present and let us make our presence uh, more helpful to the others that is one particular point i would like to highlight let them uh, you have lot of social activities well and good but that should not come in your way of progressing you cannot uh, i i i literally cannot tolerate a doctor student uh in velu quite some time back who was throwing a cat from the fourth floor down to the thing he was arrested this type of uh, as you rightly said uh, everybody has got uh, their own feelings you should give the due respect to uh, each and every person then you, when you ask for it they will be able to respond see the way in which you are behaving with others uh, you will get the same feeling so when you are looking out for some person you you don't have to talk so many words first have a smiling face that will ease out the situation and they will also have a smiling face that then that, that is a time where you can start interacting nowadays people are not even smiling before the camera that's a problem so that's really nice thank you so much for sharing as you said people forgot to even smile so my dear friends begin to smile no matter what you face in life so i would like to ask you have you ever come across a wild animal or a reptile dangerous reptile and you escaped from that place successfully yeah when when snake you was snake used to come we used to run away from the particular place actually in my house uh, a snake entered and we don't know what to do so immediately we called the auto driver who came down we closed all the other doors and he finished it off and he threw that uh, snake outside and uh, till night also we had lot of dreams coming with so many snakes next day morning we went to the temple we offered some prayer then only we, our fear went off yes i understand that yes now with regard to your childhood like what kind of incidents you remember what kind of happy incident or maybe a, a learning experience you had as a youngster you were you were the eighth born as you said right yes 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 how was your uh, coordination and relationship with your uh, siblings anything you could share with regard to your childhood 
and in see, uh, my immediate brother who he is no more no we used to have a fight with him and he is the person who is uh, who is always troubling me it was happened in uh, when i was doing 7th i scored 22 marks in science in those days you are supposed to get the signature of your parent if you are failing so i my plan was in such a way that uh, when the school is going to open next day i thought of getting the signature from my uh, father on the previous day when i was searching for the paper he was standing at the back and he said what were we are searching i am searching for my science paper it has already gone to the far uh, appa you, you can go and uh, get, uh, you can say face the consequences and I, uh, I, I, with that only now never stop he said before showing the paper to appa i have shown the paper to your uh, uh, next neighbor no who, who is the girl studying in the same class in the different school and uh, then only i have uh, taken the paper to the father i was felt immediately my uh, image got damaged then i went to the father sir appa i have scored this much so he showed the paper to my counterpart which is not uh, good for his uh, gesture so put the signature i will get my good marks then my father uh, signed it after that i st started working on the paper and subsequently on the next exam i have scored 72 this time i am taking the paper to my brother asking that please go and show this to him and he said no when you have when you score lower marks only i will be uh, showing the paper i know by showing that you have, uh, I, I know i can i can uh, kindle you to score good marks that is the motivation he said so i am saying this because there are some relatives of us who used to pinpoint hey, you are not good for nothing don't think the other way around if you feel what they are saying is good you take it out if it is not um, uh, it, it is suiting you just ignore it everybody cannot praise you all the time no sometimes you will have a uh, some some uh, some beating is also be there and that is one incident and second incident is that uh, i used to go, go along with my papa uh, whenever he was going going or he whenever he goes on tour actually at uh, salem i was staying in the house and i wanted to go with my papa but he never uh, allowed me he went to, uh, the, to his uh, superior to start his tour so suddenly the car driver came and he said i want to take him also appa he wants me to be dropped immediately i started collecting address and all so when i saw my father i really uh, go and hug him so this uh, this uh, this cherishing memory is, is still like, is lingering in my mind after knowing that I, the, my father disappointed me he conveyed this to this uh, boss he said you bring your son i will also bring my son likewise we had a very nice good time so being the eighth son uh, my father used to take uh, care of a lot of the affection but at the same time whenever i am not doing well he used to chide me so i have really learned a lot from my uh, appa and especially while playing carrom i attach a lot of significance to that basul raja mbbs where uh, the doctor's father and doctor will be playing no that i have a lot of uh, significance thank you i am really you are you are now making me to think my past i am really recollecting all those sweet memories yes uh, thank you thank you so much for sharing the most interesting one was like which is in my mind your brother took that paper of yours and showed the neighbor girl you know that was quite embarrassing and again you requested him to show the marks which you scored higher marks you could show that he didn't agree i wish he agreed you know i wish he agreed and showed that girl so that's really nice very interesting very very interesting sir thank you so much for sharing all of that now sir we come down to sports you very much interested in sports and games as well what kind of sports you are interested in i am interested in cricket ma'am actually i was play, during my school days i used to play cricket uh, not for any teams but we that's a one hobby which i really developed uh, after, after some time we started playing badminton these two games i play very well and uh, here when i came down to velour to engage my son who was 6 uh, years old and to some uh, and his friends i started again playing with them 
so the cricket i give lot of importance actually when i say cricket since i was following cricket my son was also in following cricket one particular aspect is that i want him to learn english so what i did is i will give the hindu paper and i will ask him to read the cricket news and he will respond me so the way in which he showed the interest in cricket as well as english cricket english started developing for him he started writing the scores and he started he was even the names of the, some players which we may not find it very difficult to pronounce very easy to pronounce he will pronounce without any each uh, likewise i am saying this because youngsters let them uh, as the parents you should know well in which field they are interested if that be the case you encourage them so that uh, they will concentrate on that particular aspect and they will come up in their life because nowadays for all the it people they have no extra uh, hobby time is zero i want them to have some extra uh, time to have spend for the family or they should have some mind relaxing exercise such as reading books or uh, listening to music or something like that because the it industry people they are doing uh, the computer for more than six uh, almost for a longer time and they are finding it very difficult they become very old even in a very short span of time that i am finding it very difficult so my suggestion to those who are listening those who are watching this please uh, give some time for relaxation let it be a walk out let it be a workout whatever you can do it Thank you, sir, so much. Thank you for sharing all of that. The beautiful suggestions you gave for the people who are working in the IT sector. That's really nice. And with regard to sports, you've mentioned about cricket. You mentioned again about the Hindu paper that your father did, you know, encouraged you with the Hindu paper and the reading and all of that. You encouraged your child to your son. That's really wonderful. Sir, now I have a big question for you. Most of our brothers and sisters out there would want to get a clarity from you as to what do you support like up it's regarding gender bias we've seen from ages gender in, gender inequality gender bias now we want gender sensitization that all of us are equal what are your thoughts on this sir i strongly feel all of them are equal because the role they have it is good for them they are doing it if mother is not performing her duty the father cannot go to his office if the father cannot earn mother cannot do the cooking so equal part it has to be considered and uh, nowadays people are women are now empowered and they are really doing very good job in fact uh, their creativity their thinking is something different from others i am talking about in the professional way because when the, we give a problem to them they give lot of solutions and many companies they have lot of ceos or uh, 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 ladies and they are really beautifully managing all those things so they should be given preference and uh, at the same time both men and sure women there, there is no disparity oh, but any person who is with a good skill you should all allow you should have, you should make them to come up in their life you those days this nadaswaram playing and there is no ladies nowadays it is many ladies are performing that i have recently seen a lot of ladies uh, driving the engine i mean bus in my madam uh, koyamathore one lady driver she started driving likewise all the preference should be given veera lakshmi is one particular lady she is the first lady driver of 108 ambulance she is uh, from pudukote the right now she is doing her job in chennai and uh, the confidence that they give you no know, Uh, as a earning member to their family is astonished so everybody for their livelihood they are earning they are also learning so it, there should not be any bias equal they should be treated equally either men or women they should be treated equally and everybody should given everybody should have their own place to live and they should not overcome with others that should not be that should not be any uh, mismatch should not be there they should be given equal uh, balanced effort should be given 
Yes, sir, that's really very nice. You're so supportive with regard to gender equality and you've praised a lot of women. You said many of the women are empowered. You mentioned a few names and we congratulate all the women out there who have been empowered and empowering others as well. And thanks to the support that they are receiving from all quarters. And you are one who supports gender equality. That's wonderful, sir. So how would you want people to remember you and why they should remember you? They should, I, I want to be remembered as a person who is motivating. First of all, my, I am a self-motivator and motivating others. If somebody is not having, if, having any, if somebody is not having some lot of problems, if they talk to me, after talking to me, if their confidence level is increased, I, the likewise, I should be, I should be uh, remembered. That is how I look out. If, I would like to highlight one particular incident. During my working days as a medical representative, I was waiting at a doctor's chamber. Uh, one lady went inside and there was a lot of uh, shoutings were going on. After the lady went, when I entered, the doctor literally wept and she said, she is not even respecting my degree and she started scolding at me like that. Then I consoled her. You will have a people of this type also, but don't lose your uh, emotions because you are taking care of others. When I spoke for about five to seven minutes, uh, with the uh, other person who wanted to enter, he said, doctor said, don't allow anybody inside. I'm, we are discussing something like that. After that, she then uh, washed her face. Uh, she took some uh, glass of water. Thank you, Ram Swami. That's all. I have not discussed anything about my product. I just only gave the small tips. That's it. So this is how I, I want the people to be remembered. In fact, for her son's marriage, she sent the invitation and she reminded me over phone. When I went for the function, she took me a photograph. Mm -hmm. this, I, these things I cannot expect from a do lady doctor to a medical representative. It is a big, our uh, uh, relationship is something more. That is how uh, I should be remembered. Wonderful, wonderful experience. And thank you for sharing this anecdote. That's really great. Even though we are in high positions, there are people who might come and hurt us. But, you know, there may be somebody who comes out as a mentor, as a guide, as an angel at that moment to save us. And so you've been an angel over there at that moment and have yes. saved, you saved her from feeling bad or negative. You were able to do that. And she repaid you in the right way by connecting and bonding with you for the right reasons. Yes. And invited you to a son's marriage as well, you said. Yes, that's all really nice. So such experience makes life worth living. Very true, sir. So what is that one thing that you love about Ramaswamy? Uh, creativity and all the more uh, during the COVID when I was uh, into the Nikhil Foundation, we started interacting with a lot of uh, young minds. So I have learned many good things from the young minds. The energy level, what I see in the students of 6th to 8th is amazing. Uh, and I really feel uh, I should take a lot of uh, lessons from them. So when I take class for 6th to 8th, I go to the level of their, some, the, their level and I play and I give a lot of, uh, do a lot of activities so that uh, uh, they should accept me as a, their person. So uh, in this adaptability is my strength. That is what I feel. Yes, that's really nice. Thank you very much for sharing. Now, sir, with regard to friendship, what does friendship mean to you? And how many of your friends have been standing with you right from the day you bonded as friends? Actually, school day friends, only very few still we have, we have some connection with us. But in the rover friends, we are now connected. We are, have a, a, a WhatsApp group and we do a lot of activities. And professional group, uh, friends also, they are very much there. Whenever they are in, they need my help, they used to give me a call. I used to say a lot of some suggestions so that they can come out of the... Some person used to say, I'm not, I'm feeling a little perplexed. So I thought I, sh I can, I should talk to you. That is why I called you. Then what is the problem I used to ask? They will have a lot of, uh, they will, when they reveal the problems, I said, you go for this negotiations, you go for this, but see for the results for your, when I give a lot of suggestions, they keep it in mind. 
and uh, when I, they meet me in person still they get connected so my uh, i go a lot to my friends uh, my school friends and uh, college friends and uh, if you know in the nickel foundation we have got a lot of good affinity with a lot of people um my best friend in the nickel foundation is one mr venkatachalam sir who is a retired person but uh, when you tick the when you whenever i call him all the best, have a good day the, the way in which he used to say no uh, even our worries will go down so likewise i still give a lot of importance to the positive friends still with whom we are moving and they have every liberty to even do some corrections actually my one particular achievement which uh, i would like to highlight is that in the nickel foundation during covid time we were given a task to record a voice message for, for the topics that they give it is for 5 minutes we have to talk it all started on 25th uh, march 2020 when the corona was imposed uh, we have recently completed 4 years and only two persons myself and jay kumar who is of my son's age we were the, the only two persons who are continuously uh, giving that podcast so we were given a gift so at that time receiving a gift for the work that you have done is literally amazing and that uh, friendship that bonding is making us to do thinking us to do how to do perform more and better in our life yes that's really nice as you mentioned that incident as well with regard to the nickel foundation and how you'll had to give a small topic uh, based on the topic you'll had to contribute something and you've done that and received gifts as well that's really nice and when people appreciate for the good work that we have done that's wonderful that's really nice sir now i would like to ask you ungalku povum varuma sir varuna epo varum varum kovam varum varama la irukadu varum ana adu epo varumna nama expect pannittu onnu nadakkala nama ottatta or porupa kudutha avanga seriya pannalena i will lose my emotions i will start bombarding them apparam probably like my father na uh, realize pannitana i will go and ask sorry for what i have done by the time avangalo avanga vandu konjam rigid ah irupanga idu vandu family liyum irukum veli liyum nadakku so adu vandu it is all part of it sometimes eppadi oru na kovam nammala pinnadi irukkavanga thoondi viduvaanga one particular incident is that can i talk one prachana illaya yes 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 sir uh, when my manager wanted to visit a nephrology department the department i which i already visited they allow only monthly one visit i have already finished my manager was said i i want to visit i said it is not practical no no let us go and try so when the security guard was issuing the card and he was saying poru thana thana vandu poringa thirumba varingala ungalku enna nga ipdi pandringa apdinu one i lost my word and i said something which is not good and and he also felt very bad enna padichavara irukinga ipdi pesitingala apdinu one enak romba kashtama pochu appra poi tu mudichittu vandha appra thirumba i apologized him and i said I, the problem is that your pinna di irundhu enna vandu tease pannitta irundha adanalai dhaan i lost my emotion and then sonna then we became good friends in achinga the problem is that when and mari aaga koodadhu when somebody is triggering you you should know how to control your emotions but as a human being you, you can't be like that sometimes you have to burst out so if i were in one particular place i cannot do it because i am a early bed goer by 9:30 i will go to bed my granddaughter will come around 11:30 and she will ask me tata thungitya seri paduthuko appdin solittu poiduva appra namakku thookam varadu so anga vande i cannot uh, have any uh, ill feelings against her i have to uh, get along with her yes yes i can understand that you shared two incidents over here with regard to anger one incident where you cannot express because that was out of love she has come and she has shared asked you did you sleep are you asleep like that that's really nice and the other incident as well sir thank you so much for sharing that it's really nice now i just visualize your granddaughter coming to you and like asking you tata are you sleeping are you awake <laughs> i can la i am in chennai i am in velur now they will be joining me in a day or two so without any inter- interruption i am doing this <laughs> that's nice they will come to enjoy the time with you is it the summer holiday time now sir yeah yes sir that's really nice so till till date your proudest accomplishment like in or right from day 1 when you entered into the professional space as a medical rep 
till date as a trainer, as a mentor guide, which is the best feeling, the wow moment in your life? See, I, when I joined JCS in the year 99, I never uh, know that I can go to this ladder. So when I finished uh, as a national trader, I was given, given as an assignment, namely to speechcraft as a pilot. So I was traveling to Tirupati by bus. When I got down from the bus, it, the program was organized in Mayura International, which is exactly opposite to the hospital. I saw a banner, JCHGF, welcome JCHGF Ramaswamy. On seeing that, I really felt amazed huh? from a place uh, from, from where I have come and where I am going, that uh, really helped, that kick, you know, that made me to what more. The problem is that I don't know Telugu. I still went there and I taught the people how to speak, how to prepare their speech. On seeing the success, I was again called for the same zone in, 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 within a couple of years. This time I went to Nellur. There also the banner really gave me a lot of kick. So when uh, this is a wow, that's a great moment. And second thing is when I was interacting with VIT, when I, uh, VIT first called me, I, uh, I was really felt amazed. Then subsequently, three to four programs I did, and they really gave a lot of uh, encouragement and a good certificate and also a good honorium that really made me to think that I can become a good trainer. So these are all some sparks that really make me to feel that still you have something in you, you can still deliver. This confidence only keeps me going, ma'am. Yes. Thank you for sharing those beautiful experiences, the wow moment of your life. You had it twice. Yes, that's really nice. And we wish you many more wow moments in your life, sir. Now, Thank sir. you. Yeah, most welcome, sir. Sir, you'd like to share with us your favorite one-liner or quotation? Uh, as I said, uh, so what, what next? Super. So what and what next? No matter what happens in your life, so what? Now what next? You know, instead of crying over the problem, you have to find a solution. What next is the solution? You find out what's going to happen. That's beautiful. So do you love pets too? I, I love dogs. I don't uh, grow them, but I love dogs. Yes, sir. that's really nice. Uh, that you like them, but don't like to have a dog at home, right? You don't like to yes, have yes, one. Yes. <clears throat> now, sir, what about traveling? Have you Do you love traveling? Have you traveled out of India? Yes, yes. Six to seven times I have traveled as a star performer for my company. So we used to have the star award function in various places in uh, nearby uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and uh, Uzbekistan, these are all the places. And with my wife, I went for a 15 days tour to Dubai, where my brother-in-law is there. So I really enjoyed the trip. Yes, sir. As you mentioned, your wife, was she supportive when you were like having your ups and downs or you had some professional stress? Earlier, it was Amma. She said, uh, Hanuman is with you. You're almost like Hanuman. Yes, and you know Hanuman will take you forward. She encouraged you that you have the power. Yeah, absolutely. Of the problem is that she will never, she will never price me on my face. Now only she started doing it. Earlier uh, she used to reveal it to her uh, in-laws. Oh, Nala stuff. He's a good stuff, no? Whenever you give the mic, he keeps on talking. I should not be there to listen to that. But nowadays, uh, I uh, the voice message. Uh, what I said, no. I was sharing few, and she said, "You are really uh, innovative person. Uh, talks you are doing it. You please do it." She said, "She is fully supporting me, but for her support, uh, I would have not achieved this much. I owe a lot to her." That's really nice. That's wonderful, sir. Currently, you... she is my aunt's daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. that's really nice. That's nice. Now, sir, what kind of a change you'd love to see in the present generation or in the next 50 years? What kind of changes you'd love to see? People should try to face failures and from failures, they should know how to 
take their life to the positive aspects. Nowadays, lot of deaths are happening, lots of suicides are happening because we never uh, uh, allow the people uh, to have the feeling of failure. That should not be the case. You should allow the people to have, let them fail. Let them take a lesson from the failure, then they should make it out. And uh, I really feel really proud with the girls because they have a lot of courage, a lot of uh, strength to take to take up new ventures. And many girls driving the bike or car, it is amazing. They have their own responsibility and they are making it. And second thing is that give quality time to your family. When you give quality time to your office, the work-life balance should has to be considered in the uh, uh, lifespan. If you don't take care of your uh, child. Yes, sir. I guess we have a small technical snag, friends. We'll be connected with you very soon. So that we feel you should have a balancing the profession as well as personal life should be there. And uh, it is not uh, mandatory that you have to go out to enjoy your uh, time out where you can very much be there in the house and uh, the work can be exchanged. Instead of uh, husband, I mean, wife cooking, husband can take some role. Likewise, if the work-life balance, if they start doing it, that will be good. Nowadays, for even for cleaning, everything is, uh, you, when you pay money, you get a lot of things. But when you start doing it, you know how to uh, uh, keep your house neat and clean. So I give a lot of importance to this aspect. Ma'am, one minute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Over to you, sir. Work-life balance should be given a lot of importance. Uh, if the both the persons are working, uh, they, the due consideration should be given to the ward and the ward should be taught to have their independent life. This is what I feel, strongly feel. Yes, that's really nice. Thank you so much for sharing the work-life balance and how spouses should support each other and help them to grow in their career, in their personal space as well. So we have a small project work for you. Imagine we give you a time machine in your hand and ask you to click the button that would take you into the past era. There you have to relive somebody's life and come back. If, if this was the task given to you, whose life you'd love to relive and return back? I will go to my elder brother, the immediate elder brother's life and I'll see that things are getting corrected and to put him back into the normalcy so that he will give me more, lot of motivation so that I can still do more. How sweet of you. That's so nice of you to say that. That's wonderful. I could see a lot of bonding between the brothers. That's really very nice. And I think you really miss him. So when you selected, yes. you know, you miss him a lot and you would wanted him to be here with you. Nevertheless, he's in heaven and definitely he'll be blessing us from the space where he is. Let him be in peace. And that's really nice. I get to understand that. That's wonderful, sir. Now, sir, if you meet the almighty, almighty, God, if you meet the Almighty God, or some people believe in universal energy, if they were to offer you a boon or a great gift, a superpower, and you have the choice to select the superpower as well, what kind of superpower would you ask from the Almighty or the universe? Mental strength should be strong. I want the, uh, the power that I gave. It should, uh, it should give a lot of mental strength to the problem, uh, persons. Because I cannot ask the God... Don't give us problems. Problems are part of life. But we see the problem as only as problems. But the problem is not a problem. It is an opportunity. So only thing is that the mental strength, if it is uh, given in an adequate uh, level, I think they will be able to overcome all those things. And you should not disturb others. Live in your limited space. Uh, give, uh, allow the people to grow along with you. Don't uh, grab other things and live for yourself and also you try to educate or you set an example to others. This is how I will use the power. Excellent, excellent, sir. I really like the way you focused on mental health. I can't ask God to reduce my problems, but I can ask God to give me the strength, the mental strength and the resilience power to face all the challenges in life. That's really very nice, focusing on mental health. I really like that, sir. 
uh, it's really nice getting to know things from you. Now, sir, I have the next question coming up. You might have faced criticism in life. If at all, yes. If I'm right, how did you deal with the criticism that you faced? Or if you did not face, you might have seen others facing criticism. It could be destructive. It could be constructive. What do you have to say about criticism? Criticism, it is good one in one aspect because it allows you to uh, don't it allows you to travel in the right way. In case if if you are doing a mistake, if it is not at all pointed out by others, you will try to do the same mistakes there. For that, I I feel criticism is a must. In fact, when my brother criticized me for scoring lower marks. I have corrected and I became a, uh, uh, I, I was able to score good marks. So likewise, today don't take the criticism to the head. Don't feel that you are, uh, you are being pinpointed or something like that. It is only for our good. It is only for our betterment. If that be the mindset, they will be able to overcome this particular issue. So criticism, I feel... It should be in the right perspective. Even when I, I when I was uh, saying as a national trainer being tested at various levels, they will first of all my, mark only the minus points. Then only they will say the positive points. This is how few trainers made me to think. But I have now reversed it. When I whenever I am seeing a person for a test or something like that, I will list out the positive points. Then I will say if you can correct all those things, you will be able to make it out. Like when I say this. Uh, they they receive this with a positive frame of mind and they are accepting it. Yes, that's really nice to share that. You've also brought in your brother again here, like with regard to the marks and that motivated you and then that's how you completed your BSc Mathematics as well and you are an accomplished person today. That's really wonderful. And I like the way towards the end you added, give the positives first and then concentrate, you know, focus on the negatives. Let people feel good. I accept this and I like the way that instead of taking out the negatives or the minus points first, it's always good to focus on the positives, make them feel good and then share the things on which they could improve and work on. So, so now we come to the next question with regard to forgiving others. Manipur. Now there are many people who might have hurt us, very close ones, our own blood relatives, our very close friends or maybe strangers. What do you have to say with regard to forgiving people in our lives? How many times should we give people who hurt us wantingly, on purpose? Forgiving is a very beautiful uh, uh, trait that one should have. Uh, but uh, people should not take that as a lenience. So you can forgive a people only one time, but not you cannot keep on forgiving the people for the same mistakes that they are doing. There should be a genuine reason uh, and when you forgive a person you allow the person to get himself corrected so this particular aspect the person should uh, have so when you give uh, when you forgive them you allow them to come to the normalcy that is what how i feel excellent so that's a beautiful message with regard to forgiving others i really liked it it's a big takeaway not only for me for all our guests and the youngsters, the middle-aged, the senior citizens, forgive, but it's like once maybe it could be, but if people keep on repeating the mistake, I think you have to just rethink if you could forgive the person or not. That's really nice. You put it very clearly for us. I really like the way you put that. Now, sir, we'll come down to a small segment called as the rapid fire round. Before we enter the rapid one fire minute. zone. One, one minute. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> My dear friends, at the start of the interview, I had one question in my mind and I wanted that to be a secret because I didn't want it to be let out at that time because I too don't know what is the secret of HGF. Am I right, sir? Now, I'd yeah. like you to just elaborate on that and give us a clear picture as to what is it. JC HGF V Ramaswamy you are. So what is this HGF, please? As you know, the members of JCI India, we uh, pay 2,000 rupees for a scholarship. When you pay 2,000 rupees towards the scholarship, you will be given a title, HGF. HGF means Henry Kissinger Fellow. Henry Kissinger is a person who found the JCI movement in the you know, America. So now 
we have various labs. HGF is there, JFM is there, JFP is there. All the money that we contribute to the particular foundation is going for the scholarship for the needy students of the India. So this is how the HGF is there. So when I gave 2,000 rupees for a scholarship, I am being given a title as JC HGF, Henry Kissinger Fellow. I can enhance my contribution by adding another 5,000 rupees and I can go to the next level, maybe JFP or something like that. This is a HGF expansion. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for sharing that. Thank you very much. And moreover, this amount is being used for the betterment of the underprivileged. Yes, that's really nice to enhance, uh, you know, people around us who are not so fortunate as we are. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing, sir. So, now I'd like to take you into a small segment called as the rapid fire round to get to know about the likes and dislikes of, uh, like, what you have in mind, what do you like and what do you dislike. Thank you, sir. For allowing us to do that, my dear friends, join us on this small round called as the rapid fire round to get to know the likes and dislikes of our celebrity and guest who is here with us. That is V Ramaswamy, sir, joining us all the way from Chennai. And he has taken so much of time and energy to share everything with us and keep us focused. Now, here is the time to know about him more personally about his likes and dislikes. So, Ungulada, favorite breakfast? Upma, Rava Upma. Are you a good cook? Yes. What is the special thing that you could prepare? I prepare uh, alu sabji and uh, samba vetta kolambu. Yes, that's really nice. That's wonderful. So your favorite month of the year? May. Anything specific? <laughs> I was born. My marriage also happened in the same month. Which, when is your birthday, sir, in May? 20th May. May 20th. Wow. So that's so nice. It's just like next month, right? It's very close. Next month. Come again? Next month. This is April and May. Uh, then uh, it's March. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So your favorite music? Uh, I listen to uh, Yes Das songs. Yes Das. That's nice. Yes. Very good spiritual and very nicely he sings that's really nice now dear sir is it calling or texting what do you like now see we have the modern gadget the mobile everyone you feel comfortable calling or texting i prefer calling like most of the younger generation they would like say texting we give a text message we have the proof whereas calling you have to like you know uh, for me if you ask me it's like i like texting because i have the proof over there the timings and all of that that's when I'm like, call, but I prefer to call because uh, yes. maybe I will text so that I can uh, feel the punch and I can take the call. If it is uh, uh, urgent, I will give a message. I'm... Yes, yes. I guess we have a minor technical snag again, my dear friends, from Sir Sen. I will hope that he joins quickly with us. So, so you're back again. So that's really nice. It was a slight technical snag. So, now what is that one thing that you loved about your job? I'm a BSc Max graduate, but doctors are highly qualified. But still, I'm able to put across the thoughts of my mind or the company in an effective way to convince the doctor to use the product for us. The challenge, you know. And uh, that uh, that uh, spirit is uh, the strength. That is what I feel. That's wonderful. That's really nice. So, your favorite snack? Bonda. There are so many kinds of bondas. Which one do you like? Orla kalinga bonda. Orla kalinga bonda. That's really nice. Yes, it's quite tasty also. Yes. Now it's like, you know, you make me feel hungry when you mentioned that. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, you like tea or coffee? What do you prefer? Coffee. Coffee is my first choice. Filter coffee. Excellent. Filter coffee. When I say filter coffee, I used to put coffee for my wife for the uh, after her marriage for the past about uh, 30 years. I am preparing my coffee as well as her coffee. How sweet. So romantic. And that is so nice of you to be so kind. And it's not just one or two days. It's like 30 years you've said. That's yes, wonderful. yes, yes. Very nice. So, my dear youngsters, you can take a clue from here. You can take care of your spouse in the right way. 
And in certain uh, ways, you can make your spouse happy that she too feels appreciated or he feels appreciated in your presence. So now you've mentioned chess earlier and you mm. mentioned uh, outdoor games as well. So if Cricket ask, and the badminton. Yes. Now, if I give you a cho choice to choose either indoor or outdoor games as of now today, what would you choose? I prefer indoor games because uh, my health, I don't think I can run. Maybe I can walk faster. How oh, sweet. That's really nice. And very sweet. Now, sir, if I ask you, what is the insect that you don't like? Cockroach. Cockroach. <laughs> Actually, the truth is the cockroach doesn't do anything. It just comes around and it doesn't attack us or bite us. It just moves. But many of them don't like it. The moving itself is something uh, irritate us. <laughs> yes, sir. I get that. I get that. Now, sir, what about the favorite season? Which season do you like the most? Winter. Yes, that's really nice. Your favorite mode of transport? A train. Yes. You'd love to stay in a city, village or a town? Uh, town. Come again. One word, a beautiful day, perfect day, nice day in just one word. How will you describe it in one word? Oh, how sweet. That's really nice. Wonderful, sir. Now, sir, you said you are an early bird. You sleep, uh, you are an early bird and not a night owl. You sleep, I mean, very early. And you mentioned even your granddaughter coming and waking you up. But then you, your sleep is little disturbed. So then how now? How would you rate yourself? Like an early bird or a night owl? So you get up at 11.30, you try to sleep, you don't get sleep? I will, uh, still I would like to be an early bird only. If, if my granddaughter disturbs, maybe I will start... Uh, uh, counting from 100 to 1. Probably when I say 1, I think I'll be feeling sleepy. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. I'm going to try that today. Thank you so much. That, you know, reverse counting could help us to drop asleep. That's really nice. Sometimes even I also get disturbed and I don't sleep. I, I then have to really rely on this, like, backward counting. Thank you. Now, so what about food? Is it sweet, salty, spicy, or sour food? I am fond of sweet, but my uh, diabetic uh, condition allowed, uh, they never allowed me to have more sweets. So I am also take uh, spicy food. Spicy. If at all it is the sweet one, what sweet would you love to have? Laddu. There are so many kinds of laddu, sir. Tirupati laddu is very good, no? Tirupati laddu, like awesome. That. Yes, sir. Very, very tasty. It has a special taste. In fact, it has That's some right. unique taste in that. Yes, sir. Now, sir, when you are all alone, Nobody's around you for that moment, for maybe half an hour, maybe one hour, you're all to yourself. Not even your mobile is working, it's getting charged. So you are connected to your thoughts. Where do your thoughts take you, past, present or future? Sometimes past, uh, a critical situation which I have overcome. And uh, sometimes about the task that I have in hand, how to work on those things. That uh, will come in my mind. Yes, that's really nice. Now, sir, you love socializing or me time? I'm uh, free, I, I'm uh, socializing. Yes. Sir. Now, so you've been connected with people. You've been focusing on various experiences. So I ask you this question. Is it experiential learning more or theoretical learning? Because nowadays, yes, please. Well, I give you a lot of importance for experiment, experiential learning. Yes, sir. that's really nice. Experiential learning is one of the best ways you could learn a lot. On a That's scale right. of, yes, sir. Sorry for interrupting. Yes, sir. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you rate yourself with regard to forgiving others? 7. Okay, sir. Ungulo, a favorite color? Red. Oh, nice. That's nice. You'd love to spend time in a beach, a forest, or a mountainous region? Forest. Yes. You prefer song, dance? Song. Singing a song. 
singing singing songs and your favorite kind of music a uh, mild instrumental uh, fusion i used to give a lot of importance like if, if we could request you to sing a song would you oblige now <coughs> செந்தாழம்பூவில் வந்தாடும் தென்றல் என் மீது மோதுதம்மா பூவாசம் மேடை போடுதம்மா பெண் போலே ஜாடை பேசுதம்மா அம்மம்மா ஆனந்தம் அம்மம்மா ஆனந்தம் ரொம்ப நல்லா சார் யூ ஹண்டர்ஃபுல் வாய்ஸ் thank uh, you may know the hero of this movie if i i have somebody is it yathiraj or somebody no no it is the movie is from uh, muldum malarum rajanikanth is the hero mm-hmm. this song is sung by sarath babu wow that's really nice you have a wonderful voice i'm really amazed that's great that's great keep it up sir and i think you, for every session you better sing a song and you know your your group of students or they will really be very happy that's really yeah. nice. beautiful beautiful it is a surprise that's really nice i really enjoyed it so now you prefer walking two wheeler or a four wheeler i prefer walking like do you do you complete 10000 steps per day i don't count because uh, uh, when i have that instrument uh, i used to have a lot of disturbance so i put the instrument down i have a time actually i should walk for 20 minutes or something like that i will have this and i do that yes that's really nice now sir if you are given a choice to read a book or listen to your favorite music what would you select i would like to give a, 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 a i would like to read a book oh you would like to read a book that's really nice yes. so, and there are last two questions sir before we sum up thank you for your patience you have a very patient right from the beginning thank you very much one question is till date your favorite gift that you've received the most precious gift is the ring that my father was wearing and he gave that i am still holding this he, on my marriage day he said na unakku onnu pannada anda modaram abindra enta kudutar i am having this uh, ring uh, he passed away in 1991 but the ring in my hand uh, reminds him that is uh, i have lot of sentiments attached to this sometimes it goes to the pawn shop again it will come back the, the gone are those days but still when when it when the ring is with me i feel i am confident i can face anything so beautiful that's really very nice sir for remembering your dad so well and you still have that ring with you like since 1991 it is with you and the way you said it unakku onume panle but i'm giving you this ring you know that's very nice lots of sentiments attached to that and you respect all of that and still have it with you great sir that's really nice so uh, towards the end of the session i have a small request that you share three gifts with us in the form of three magical words that could empower us you nevertheless empowered us so much right from the start till now but as a rule of the international fab talks every time we put in a little request that the celebrity shares three magical words towards the end of the session apart from please sorry and thank you any three words smile make others smile and make others happy wonderful smile make others smile make others happy and that is the way you can also be happy you know when you make others happy when you smile at sure. others that's all the positivity around you you really made me smile you made our guest smile here and i'm sure you will really do wonders in the future as well looking forward to several more interactions with you sir thank you so much rombo nandi thank you so much i'm really privileged so nice of talking to you may god bless you thank you sir and same to you thank you speak sharing the space with you getting to know you as a person is really great it's a privilege and a honor thank you very much thank you thank you sir my dear friends with this we come to an end to the international fab talks before we come to an end i'd like to thank chidambaram sir for sharing your contact details with me such that we had a wonderful interaction with you sir and friends do us a favor share this video with the right kind of students with the right kind of youth and with the right kind of people let them listen to all the wisdom that was shared here you never know who would be inspired even if one person is inspired by the wisdom that has been shared here today we feel really proud and happy and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the international fab talks if you support us in this way we will be going ahead and bringing many more unsung heroes like today our special unsung hero is ramasamy sir who has shared everything with us 
and very transparent in all the sharings that he has done till now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.